Be sure and check out my new website, gypsydigs.com. All right, on another adventure today, I'm with my friend Zola, uh, aka Dirty Bird. <laughs> and uh, we uh, brought the kayaks today. We came up about how far up the. I would say water? It's probably half a mile, three quarters of a mile. At least. Yeah, we, we kayaked another, a long ways. We got another quarter of a mile to hike in. Oh, to hike in? To hike that oh, way. wow. And. Uh, there's a eight, a house that showed up on an 1896 map up there. It's still there. It looks, it's really sad. It's not gonna be there much longer. Aww. And two barns. Awesome. Um, so we're gonna go And there's the part of our old- uh, That was their boat dock. Boat dock here, right along the uh, river here. That and was can, probably built after the 1800s. Yeah, definitely. Concrete in the- Definitely, wow. and they've got later. Looks like they put in a fence over here that's probably. Oh, there's an old fence up there. We'll see uh, that. Um, you know when they made them out of the twigs and just wrapped oh, cool. the wires around. Yeah, they got that. Okay. Neat. All right. Well, we're going to hike up there and do some metal detecting. We'll see you on the first. All right. We've hiked quite a ways. Uh, Zola brought her. Uh, machete <laughs> so we were able to get through all of the mess it's 69 degrees and we're sweating i hear something probably an animal hopefully just an animal so this is an add-on to the house that's the toilet that's the toilet the so. plumbing i believe this part of the house right here because if you look and in, see the toilet in there if you look in here if this part was standing, it would have exterior windows inside the house. So I believe, unless that's the front porch. I don't know. Look at the cute little phone book holder on the wall over there. That's cute. Uh, do you see there's probably so many bottles under this wood? Probably is. Damn it. <laughs> it looks a little too dangerous. Well, we're gonna detect and look around here for a bit and uh see if we can find anything this so, seems to be the back side of the house here's the porch i don't know if this is a side porch. porch yeah it's a side porch that they added on okay so uh I'm gonna... so, i think this is i think it was a two-story house and i think this was an add-on back here because see how they came over and they have the metal pipes yeah so maybe the original so original part of the house i think is over there by the well Okay, There's well, you're going to check out the well, too. I uh, brought the magnet, brute magnet. Can you see this right here? You probably can't see it on the phone. There's a privy right there. There's a privy right there. There's a privy right there. And I forgot my bottle probe. Oh, uh, no. All right, folks. We'll see you on the first. All right, Zola's over there digging. I did dig uh, a penny on the other side where we first started videoing. Um, it was a 1964 penny, came over here, I dug a shotgun shell, a little piece of a stove, and two iron, uh, iron round things. And then right here, I got a 53 signal, which is a nickel signal, and it looks like I got a nickel right there. And, let's see, oh, I see the Indian. I got a buff, buffalo nickel. Yay! Awesome. I'll see if we can get a date on that. I look, I can kind of see it, make out a date right there. Usually they're dateless. I'll get a close up of this and let you know. Awesome. All right, I took a photo and zoomed in and it looks like it's 1935. So awesome. I'll get the back cleaned up and get some photos for you. We'll see you on the next. Still around the front of the house. Uh, down here, I just dug a spoon. Can't make out much of the design. Too dirty. All right, we'll see you on the next.
Okay, the house is just right there. Zola's over there. I came around through where the entrance was to the property here. There's an old tree right here. And right here, I just got a signal and I got a wheat penny. I can't tell the date, but I'll zoom in for you just in case you can. Well, I can't tell the date, so uh, I'll have to get back with you. All right, Zola and I are outside of the fence from uh, the house, and uh, up there by the tree, I found the wheat penny, and she's eating lunch, and I should stop and eat lunch. Eat your lunch. But uh, anyway, I got this signal here, and I dug down, and I pulled it out, and it's a lead oh. soldier. It's going to need a lot of cleaning up. Oh, wow, that's cool. Maybe this is where the kids played. Yeah, so maybe there's some coins around here too. Look, looks like he's got a sword there, maybe. Right along there. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. All right, cool, fine. We'll see you all on the next. All right, so the house is up there on the hill. We've walked quite a ways. And this is used to be the old bridge that they would drive across here to get up to the old house we were detecting around. And then the water's down there. So pretty. Very cool. It's very cool. Heading to a new spot. We're heading to another spot. There was another house down here that this road led to, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, right here. So we came into the other property. There used to be a pool down here and the house was up on the hill. And she just got a signal right there. She just dug it. It's like 7980. And look at this. Maybe three inches down. Look at all the gold gild still on that, baby. Great seal button. Beautiful. It's probably about to be gone now. <laughs> no. I just want to see what the back mark says. If it has a back mark. Wow, look at that shank. It Ooh. is old. I thought it was going to be like a reproduction or something. With all that gold gold, you would think, yeah, it's just well preserved. But that's an old shank. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it may be World War II. We'll see. Awesome. We'll get it cleaned up and let you know. Awesome find, Zilla. Boom. I just got an old padlock. I can't tell what the name of it is there on the padlock, but pretty cool. I'll see you on the next. All right, we're back at the first house where we started trying to make it back over here to the well. Oh yeah, see the big hole there. And then over here is the well. Oh, I passed all this cactus. It's up in here, right up by the house. Maybe that's why the house collapsed. Let's see if I can get over here other side here. The old door. Water See water? I can get over here. Pretty big. Cool. That looks like they put a... Maybe that's a sister. Maybe that's not. You think it's a sister? It's kind of big. Oh, it's big. Uh, All right, we can... To see. We'll see what's like they got their water that looks like it might have plugged in right here. Or there's a faucet anyway. Alright. I'll drop that down in here and we'll let you know. Alright, yeah. Zilla is dropping the magnet down in there. Yeah, there 
here's a piece of wood. We see that. Oh, yeah. I'm on bottom. I think it's a cistern. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Alright, go over here. It's big. Mm hmm. There's some bottles down in there. Oh. I guess we'll have to stay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like swimming today? Nah. Watch out on anything? Yeah, let's get something. Mm. It keeps coming off there, I think. Mm. I guess it's coming off. Maybe it's a pipe that's connected or something. Yeah, but I don't have to pull very hard to get it off. It seems like 500 pounds, but yeah. I have to stand up. <laughs> right. Oh, well. That's a lot of bubbles. Ugh. Methane bubbles. <laughs> All right, if we get anything, folks, we'll let you know. All right, we're working our way back, and we're heading by the barn here. Uh, here's the door. Oh, there's a door right here. To the old barn right there. It's got even got some newer hay in here. Yeah, somebody's used this in more modern times. There's some modern bolts up there. Yeah, but it's definitely this part's old, old for sure. But they repaired it or something. Yeah, they did repairs on it. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the detector and we're gonna be heading out of here pretty quick. We don't have much time to spend here. I just wanted to show you. There's Zola. She's on the phone. We're about to head back. It was a fun day, fun adventure, and we'll see you at the wrap-up. All right, so I'm going to take a little CLR and uh, clean these two finds a little. This one is in pretty rough shape, but it's got quite a bit of buildup on it. So I'm going to clean it up just a little, see if I can get some of that crust off the edge and get a little more detail coming out. I don't ever soak my finds long at all. This is brass mostly here. I just want to be able to read this lettering here much better. Um, so let's take a, let's go ahead and I will pour a little of this in here, CLR, and give it a little quick bath. All right, I poured a little CLR in there, so we'll go ahead and Soak this in here for a minute. Now this helps with calcium deposits and rust as well, uh, and lime buildup. But um, the area I live in, there is a lot of calcite and calcium in the water and stuff like that. So it's definitely gonna be in the ground as well. So I find a lot of finds that have a big buildup on the outside in the area I live. So we'll just get that bubbling again and then I'll show you in just a few minutes and we'll see how well it cleans up. All right, I just put the lock in there as well. You can see how it's bubbling up. It works very fast. So I won't keep the lock in there very long, but this does seem to be coming off a little. This one may need a little bit longer soak. I'll show you in just a few. All right, so that's what the water, I mean the CLR looks like after cleanup. And uh, 
So this says, the lock says ILCO Genuine Pin. Um, ILCO Genuine Pin Tumbler, I think. I think uh, this company started in the 30s, from what I can tell. And then I got this cleaned up a little. There's still a bunch of crud still on it, but it's not all coming off. You can even see some of the design coming through here. Um, but it appears to be a knight. And I think, at first I thought he was holding a sword at one time, but it looks like it attached here. And so I'm actually thinking a bow and arrow. And then this appears to be the thing that holds the arrows. I guess it's called the quiver. And then the rest of his arm that I guess was attached to holding, pulling that back. So cool find, love it. I haven't done any research on it yet. Not seeing any markings on the bottom. It was in just uh, so corroded already. We'll see if I can get it cleaned up a little bit more. And then the nickel, as far as I can tell, looks to be 1938, from what I can tell, or 35. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it was a fun adventure. I had fun uh, adventuring with Zola. And thank you all for watching. And remember, just dig it. Need a metal detector or metal detecting supplies? Visit the Digger's Den website listed below. Enter code GYPSY, all caps when ordering online. And as always, thanks for watching.